So I just woke up and I decided, let's go explore a part of Bangkok that I haven't seen today. We're gonna go to Samrong. I'm gonna hop onto the BTS and I'm gonna take you guys down to the Samrong area and we're gonna see what we can find. So join me for this journey. So I got off at the Samrong BTS. I have no idea what's down here. I know there's a shopping center, there's a night market, but it's obviously daytime, so that's not gonna be open. So I'm just gonna wander around and we'll see what we can find, guys. So we're here in Samrong, and hopefully I'm not gonna be wrong, but uh, we're gonna go down here, looks like Succumbit 80. I uh, already see something I like love graffiti like this it is just so so cool to see this stuff out here but i'm just gonna walk down the street and see where it takes us it's not crazy humid today but it's about 36 degrees super hot and right now it's around 12 30 so it's probably the worst time to be out doing this Well, I was trying to go see what looked like Luang Thu Pot sculpture, but uh, I don't think that's gonna work. This is a big fence and I'm definitely not squeezing through it or climbing over it or anything like that. All right, let's go find something else. Well, right on the side of this road, I came across this shrine. This is the Chow Por Tap Shrine. And as you can see behind me, this thing is super magnificent. Definitely have to walk around here and take a look. Even though I'm hungry, I haven't eaten yet, but let's take a look at the shrine. So I really couldn't find any information on this temple online, but there's lots of pictures of animals on the front. So I'm not really sure what that means. If any of you guys know, please let me know down in the comments below. All right, let's just walk around and see what else we can find. Some beautiful smaller temples and oh, there is a very, very interesting Buddha up there. Let's go take a look at that. I always find going into shrines and any of these places of worship just so peaceful and calm. I know I've said it before, but I like going in them, looking around, and it's always just fascinating to see them. All right, let's climb some stairs. Well, this is quite an interesting Buddha statue. I've never seen one like it before. Not that I've seen many of them, but it's quite nice to see something different than the usual gold ones. And it's so nice and breezy up here. There's a nice breeze, wind, even though it's like 95 degrees today, actually 98, which is I think uh, 36 degrees Celsius or maybe 4,000 degrees Celsius. It's just hot, that's all I know. Uh, it's nice to get out into this area. There's uh, there's a bunch of things out here. It's much quieter than down in Asok and Nan and all that craziness. So I'm happy to come out here and just explore for a little bit. So the best I could do with Google Translate is this sign says, praying for Luang Pu Thot stepping on fresh water. I'm sure that's incorrect. If you're Thai and you can read this, uh, let me know what it says. That is a very interesting Buddha statue. Unfortunately, the sun is hitting at the wrong angle, so I can't really get some good shots of it, but it's it's very dark, obviously, and uh, grab my shoes. Let's go back down and continue exploring. Definitely time to find some food. Now I've entered the Samrong Wholesale Market, and this is a night market, so it doesn't open until six o'clock in the evening, so it's still closed, it's too early. And as always, guys, I will put the locations of all the places I've been down in the description below. So this looks mainly like it's going to be a wet market, a fresh fish market, fresh vegetables, not prepared food. 
So I'm not sure if I'll come back to this uh, or not at some point. Yeah, you definitely have to watch your step here in Thailand because there will be holes and cracks and pits like this everywhere. So you definitely have to be careful. Well, it looks like there is a market that is open right now. Fresh vegetables, durian, bananas, lots of things. I have no idea what this is. First I thought it was durian, but it's just way too big. Very interesting. If only I could cook, this would be a great little market. I could pick up some fresh vegetables, but yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> Actually, I'm wrong. This fresh market here is the back end of the wholesale market, so they're connected. It's just this part is open and the rest of it is not. Well, out of one market and now into a whole nother market. And this one looks like it has prepared food. Nope, it's still all fresh food, but this one has fresh shrimp. These are giant. We've got fresh squid, all sorts of good looking stuff here. Chicken, pork, uh, chicken feet, all the intestines that you guys all love. And this place is quite busy. There's quite a few people in here. This market is an absolute beast. There's all sorts of stuff here. Now I'm getting into some of the prepared food, all sorts of different things here. Holy smokes. And this thing keeps going forever. I mean, check this out. We still got a huge long way to go down there. We've got the king of fruit here. And then we've got the queen of fruit. And the name of this market is the Samrong Center Market. And as you can see, it goes for what seems like ever. There's rows and rows of fresh food, fish, prepared food, clothing. There's accessories, there's shoes. I, I can't believe how much stuff is in here. And nice thing is it's all covered so you can walk in here without having to deal with the sunlight. Really love how the Thais utilize all the space. This is an overpass with cars and trucks and underneath we still have more market stalls. And then over here, there's parking for motorbikes. And believe it or not, the market continues on the other side of the road. This is definitely one of the largest markets I have seen here so far. I think it's a little early for most of the food stalls to be open here because this is mostly a night market. However, I know I can find something to eat while I'm here. I'm gonna try this noodle dish, but I think what I ended up doing is I'm ordering a larger one. I'm not really sure because again, language barrier, but it looks good and definitely gonna try it, just uh, looks like boat noodles. So here is my dish. I have no idea what it is. It looks uh, like some kind of a soup. Definitely got some fish balls in here. It looks like some pieces of meat. Uh, there's noodles. This looks pretty tasty. Okay, so I've got my dish and I was really smart this time. Not only did I bring my own napkins, but I actually brought my own hand sanitizer, which I failed to do on so many of these trips. So I'm really curious to see what this tastes like. I walked around here, took a look at some of the other food options. Not a lot of things are open because it is the weekend, but this caught my eye first. So I just uh, had to try it. So let's find out what we got in here. Obviously some kind of a fish ball. Oh. I like the fish balls. They have like a weird little crunchy texture to them. A bit of a gelatinous feel, even though they're not really crunchy, but I really enjoy them. I don't know if this is pork or beef. I rarely see beef here in Thailand, so I'm guessing this is pork. Mmm. Wow. This is really, really tasty. And she didn't kill me with the spice, so that's great. Oh. Oh, that is hot. Temperature. Oh, my God. Mm. We got bean sprouts in here, noodles. There's more beef. Uh, again, I don't think this is beef. No, it uh, might be liver, it might be pork. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's quite good. Mm. That's liver. That's definitely liver. Mm. If you don't like organ meats, you're gonna be in for a surprise. A lot of dishes here in Thailand. I would never go out of my way to eat organ meats, but for whatever reason here, I'm very happy to have them. Mm. Kapum ka, baroy mak, some seed butt. Some seed butt. Some seed. Well, just as I had figured, that was 30 Thai baht, which I said is right around 93 cents, something like that. Okay, let's continue on. I'm pretty full from that small meal, but I need some air conditioning. And right across from me is Imperial World Sam Rong, so I'm going to go and take a look in there and cool off for a bit. 
This is another thing you would never see in most Western countries, people setting up shop on an overpass. I think it's a great idea. Nobody cares. Let them sell their goods. Let them make their money. I'm all for it. Now, this isn't going to be a mall tour. And honestly, this place looks like any other mall. It looks like Terminal 21 or Siam. A mall is a mall, but uh, it's nice to get inside, get some air conditioning, maybe get a maybe another t-shirt because I've definitely uh, soaked this one. <laughs> I got a little excited because I thought it was going to be a motorcycle shop that had jackets with some armor, but no, these are just soft jackets. I still need to find some motorcycle riding gear for when I do my motorbike trips. I'm not riding in shorts and a t-shirt. It's too dangerous. I've been riding motorcycles for 30 years. So I'm definitely gonna give myself some protective gear. I know it's hot. I've ridden in hot weather before. And as I've always said, I'd rather be sweat than dead. Well, what can I say so far? This is a shopping mall. It has stores, it has food, it has lots of banks, it has people. It's another shopping mall. And here's something that I've definitely never seen here before, a toilet paper vending machine. Two baht, which is, I don't know, like three or four cents. Yeah, as I mentioned before, you might want to carry around toilet paper because even in a big mall like this, there is a vending machine because there's no toilet paper inside. And if you go in there, you're gonna be in for a surprise if you don't have any. Another trip to 7-Eleven, but this time just for some water. Honestly, I don't even know when's the last time I saw a pay phone, let alone what looks like a working one. Wow, that's pretty cool. I really want to get myself a bike, probably just to rent one. I don't think I'd want to own one and ride it here in Bangkok. I've owned many Honda motorcycles, and for me, the PCX is too big. The click is too small. I really like the Yamaha Aero X. I'm really excited to get on my first motorbike tour. I've been riding motorcycles since I was uh, 20 years old, so that's what, 31 years? And for me, it's really fun, so I'm super thrilled. I just don't think I'd wanna do it here in Bangkok because it's pretty crazy. So my plan is to get out of town in a week or two and then start my first motorbike tour. I haven't planned it out yet, I'll figure it out. Well guys, I managed to walk from the Samrong BTS area exploring all the way down here to Bering. And I've got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, so I think this is where I'm gonna wrap this up. You know, as always, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, subscribe. And I'm gonna throw some of my other videos up top that you guys can check out. And you know, guys, I say this all the time, but I truly mean it. Please take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you in another one of my videos, guys. Bye.